Whoa! So this is going to be a great day. So we've got Nathan and Rath and Sea Arm, Seymour Arm. Hey, we're we're gonna we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Seymour Arm. It's gonna be a good run. What a fantastic day for a ride. I mean, here we are in October where there could just about be snow on the ground here. I mean, certainly at higher elevations, but I mean, we've got almost a summer-like day. Uh, we've got the ride with Nathan and Raf, and uh, I guess we'll call ourselves the Titanic Trio today. We're uh, doing a run up the gorge, up to Seymour Arm, and our hope is to return on the North Fork Road of the Perry River. So we'll see how our time and uh, energy holds out, but it is truly a fantastic day. A lot warmer than I thought it would be, not even cold on the fingers. This is uh, excellent, excellent weather. spectacular scenery up the gorge road here lots of bridges with creeks we just encountered our first logging truck coming the other way lots of dust they're logging to beat the band up here this year so I would imagine we'll be running into lots more of them And here we go, logging truck number two. <laughs> the dust! The dust! Now you get a nice view of Anstey Arm. Boy, what a nice day. We're following Raf here on the uh, on the road. I think we're in a good spot here where we'll be able to see if there's logging trucks coming the other way just from the, the big cloud of dust. Yeah, coming up to another burn section here in the gorge following Nathan on the big uh, 1290. Yeah, some uh, nice little sections here where if you fall off, it would not be good. You don't want to fall over that edge, that's for sure. Nor do you want to hit a logging truck coming the other way. So you always got to be on the lookout. But yeah, this certainly is neat stuff through here in this burn area. Well, we're just out hiking in the middle of the woods. And we come across a cabin, an old trapper's cabin. And it is literally in the middle of nowhere. If you didn't know it was here, you'd never know it was here. Say yes to the $500,000 extra. Yeah, I'll go for that. Heck, I'd sell it for 250 grand. Well, we made it to Seymour Arm. I think we all made it. Have a good one. You bet, you too. Traffic cam. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely kind of like the land that time forgot out here very remote only a crappy gravel road in you got huge power lines transmission lines going by but no power in the town itself so everybody's on solar and or generator and the floating store is quite the 
quite the attraction. You can buy fuel right on the water. Alright, we've done the run into Seymour Arm and we're working our way back and boy there's some nice stuff along here. All these rivers that intersect and all the bridges, real nice stuff. Nathan, you having fun? <laughs> Raph, you're having fun? No, it's not too bad. <laughs> good, good stuff. Scotter. You know, definitely tricky, especially with the uh, panniers there, but yeah, just momentum, and luckily there's no big ruts to have to worry about getting stuck in. Definitely nice stuff in here, old growth forest. Yeah, definitely a wide bike to be taken through here, but it's all good. Boy, nice old burned out stumps that were logged who knows how many decades ago. Yeah, even if you undid it all the way and then just took it right off. Oh, it's, it's, it's oh except it's wired. Ah, okay, no, I guess you can't do that. How about that? Look Try at that. that. Beautiful, thank you. Probably the plastic bottoming out on itself now. Yeah. So as long as you got enough foam under there, yeah. Alrighty. Got it? Thank you very much. Yeah. What happens when you have a shaky thumper where everything comes loose off the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> there we go, there's our mileage marker. We've uh, we had gone to Seymour Arm via the gorge. But on the return trip, we're coming up via the North Fork of the Perry River. So that's the west side of the Perry River. And so now we got our mileage markers and we're good to go. Hooey! Yeah, that's definitely snow in the Alpine. Yeah, just a couple. Definitely a good avalanche path. Yeah. And another nice one just on the left coming up here. Yeah. That's strange. And I can't remember at which K it is that that uh, turnoff is, but it's around 20 something. So once we get uh, once we get to like 28 or something, then I'll lead again. We'll see if we can find it. Sure. Boy, spectacular views here. We've 
also got a temperature inversion. Quite cold down in the valley floor, but uh, warmer up here. Oh, check out that view. Yeah. Well, we're just about at the top. Following Raf here, he uh, has been on several dual sport adventures. I guess he's been up to uh, to Inuvik and uh, way way down south. Definitely put the miles on that KLR, and he's got the the stickers to prove it. Yeah, off over the mountains to the right, that's the Eagle Pass snowmobile area. Very, uh, very rugged country. And the uh, Perry River far below. Well, I don't know what kind of performance you get with the GoPro uh, in the uh, darker lighting conditions. This will be a good test. Unfortunately, we got a little bit of dust here following the guys, but it'll be interesting to see how it looks. Yeah, I don't think the GoPro works very well in low light. All those new ones are pretty good. But, uh, yeah, the uh, handguard bolt is missing, so it's flopping and hitting the brakes for him, eh? Kind of automatic braking. Automatic braking on the highway. Yeah, yeah that's cool. handy. bolts everywhere. This just came out of my fog. The <laughs> safety nut just came out of my luggage here. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> that was a good bumpy road. No complaints. <clears throat> yeah. Man, if we're down bolts, must have been a good road. There, should hold it. Should get me home, yeah? Yeah, I don't imagine the GoPro will do too well in the wind. You know, we're uh, moving along at highway speeds. Yeehaw!